Hi, Yarnabees. How are you today? Today? <laughs> Stay. <laughs> oh, it's been a couple of days. <laughs> okay, so I got a few things to talk to you about. Yeah. Um, I got a couple things to Okay. Rewind. Hi. <laughs> How are you today? <laughs> okay. Obviously, not enough coffee. Uh, I got some stuff to talk about. Yeah. Um, I. What should I start with? I don't even know. I've, I've got a couple of things. Um, okay. Let's start off with this. Hi to my new subscribers. Hello, Yarnabees. For those of you that don't know, I call my Yarny family my Yarnabees. There's a whole thing with that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have to, I have to um, maybe do a and a and explain how I came up with the Yarnabees uh, three years ago when I started my channel. But anyways... I'm sure that new people that come in go, what's a Yarnaby? What? Why is she saying Yarnabies? <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> one day I will explain that. Maybe one day soon. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. I've noticed that my subscribers have gone up a little bit. And uh, I thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I hope you stick around. Um, the uh, Another thing I <laughs> wanted to talk about. Oh, a couple of you already know because you actually live here. Um, we had a house explode on the island. Uh, it was a natural, natural gas explosion. Thank God no one was in the house. Um, the house is about five minutes away from my house. It was felt throughout the island. It was insane. It was about 8.30 at night, I think it was. And our house shook. I thought our water heater downstairs blew. Like it was like boom, boom. And the sh shaking. And I was like, what was that? And George and I were up and running around the house trying to figure out what was going on. I ran downstairs. He was running around the top, the top floor. And uh, it wasn't in our house. So I went running outside thinking, oh my God, maybe a car blew up, you know, or something. And people were coming out of their house going, what was that? So I knew it wasn't in our house. <laughs> I was like, okay, if other people felt that, then it's not in here. Uh, so yeah, so right away, like not even 10 minutes after we felt it, it was all over Facebook. And people were saying like, what was that? And then um, the Nimo News, like just right away, put out uh, a message saying that a house blew up. Um, apparently they, it was a vacant house. <sighs> Thank God. Um, and they were renovating it and getting it all ready for the new tenants. And something happened. And I don't know if it was a leak or if something, but yeah, the house completely blew apart. Um, the pictures were like, it's like flattened. There's lumber everywhere. Uh, apparently there were some people walking by the house that got injured. No one was killed. Thank goodness. Oh, but I just, I could, I could not imagine being the house next door to that. Like if it was loud like that here and felt here, Oh, I feel for those people in the houses all around that house. Like, that was insane. So yeah, it I I'll put a link down below of the paper clipping. Um, I don't. It may have been on the actual news. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it was insane. It was insane. I tried today to drive around and see if I could find the house, but I was in the wrong area. So, and it was raining and yucky and I was like, yeah, I'm just going to go home. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So that happened. <laughs> that was a little excitement on our little island. Um, 
I'm just glad nobody got hurt. No, seriously hurt anyway. You know, it's, um, there's people were getting hit with debris from the house and like, holy man. Um, I think I would have had a heart attack if I was somewhere around that house when that happened. Like, oh, wow. People are going to have PTSD over that one. Like, holy man. So anyways, so yeah. Um, and today, the reason why I was out and about, uh, I went for my mammogram. Yay, boob squish. Yay. Uh, not because I anything's wrong. And I haven't, apparently, I haven't had one since like 2017. Uh, um, but uh, when I had COVID in January, I was telling you my breasts hurt really bad and I, I didn't know what was going on. And I think it was glandular. I think it, it was um, the glands on the sides, they were inflamed because when you have COVID, there's a lot of inflammation that happens in your body. And I think that's what it was, but I wanted to get it checked out anyway. It took them this long to get me an appointment. <sighs> totally forgot about it until I got the text message just yesterday saying, tomorrow's your mammogram. Uh, so, <laughs> but um, yeah, so I went for that. Yes, yeah, so that's done. Um, I don't suspect there's going to be anything newsworthy for that, but you know, go get your mammogram, you know, because uh, <laughs> you never know, you never. And for the men out there, go get your mammogram. <laughs> Funny story. I was text messaging with Sandy from Leftist Right Crochet, as I often do. And I said, well, I went for my mammogram today. And she's like, oh, really? Oh, boob squish. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, boob squish. <laughs> so, um, you know, she was saying, you know, men get them too. And I was like, how do they do that with men? Because men don't have boobs. Like, there's nothing to really put in the machine or a... I had to, I had to YouTube it. It was one of those things that kind of went, hmm, YouTube. <laughs> so I YouTubed it and I was like, okay, so that's if, if you've got the man boob, you know, then okay. But what about these big muscular guys that have hard chests and they can't, there's nothing to grab. What do they do in that case? I don't know. It was just one of those things that kind of went, Hmm. Uh, so yeah, if anybody knows, let me know. Cause I, I, I didn't think that they actually used the machine on men. I know that men can get breast cancer and I know that men do go get mammograms, but I always thought that they had to just do a chest x-ray or something like that. I had no idea that they actually used the same machine and oops, you know, uh, it's like, um, yeah, interesting. So husbands and wives, go get your mammograms. I put finally, the movie marquee challenge is finally out. Um, and the movie for this month is Venom. Yes. So if you're going to get involved in that, go watch the video. Uh, and I talk about, you know, what's involved with that. Um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I looked at, I looked at the uh, poster again and it's not just black and white. There's blue tones in there, you know? And, uh, I was like, Hmm, I have to figure out, I still have no idea what to make for it. I'm at a loss guys. I I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about it. And th I've already done two sweaters. I want to do something different. Oh, itchy nose. I've got fibers. Ugh. I was just winding um, yarn before I got on here. So now i got fibers in my nose. Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have no idea what to do for this challenge. Um, spring is coming. So I was thinking about doing a spring shirt or something or... Uh, I'm assuming that the colors are going to be black, 
dark blue um, and like a gray blue kind of color and a cream or something I don't know but yeah I'm at a loss and I don't even know I don't know if I've got the yarn for it yeah I don't I'm stuck if you guys have any ideas throw your ideas down below um and I'm going to keep, I'm going to write down everything that you guys say, because then I can use it for the other months as well. So yeah, like, I, would, I don't know, because I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, so spring and summer's coming. Should I do something spring and summer? Should I, and I'm also trying to figure out what to do for the Be Hootiful 12, pro 12 project collab that I'm doing with Jeanette at Hootie Hootenance, right? Like I just put out a sweater tutorial for that. It's like I'm always putting out tutorials for sweaters, right? Well, it's not winter all year round. So I had an idea for a, um, like a summer top, but eh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I thought about Rwanda. Um, like a light summer type Rwanda. Actually, I was, I was having a video chat, um, uh, with, um, hello, Angela <laughs> and my precious jarnery. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, and we were talking about Rwanda's and stuff and she was saying that she was thinking about, you know, making one but it didn't it she didn't know if she was able to and i says oh my gosh it's easy so um i thought about doing that and i'm actually in the process of making something that's rwana-esque but it's not um it's not as big as rwana i thought it was going to be when i started making it but the type of yarn I'm using is drapey. So it's, yeah. Anyway, I'll show you that in a minute. So yeah, just put your ideas down below and tell me what you guys think. Uh, give me some ideas. Um, I was thinking about doing an amigurumi once uh, for something that's, you know, going to have a cup, just a couple of colors. Um, yeah, I have no idea. I thought about a triangle scar a shawl. A, I don't really do triangle shawls, but um, like the cowl, triangle cowl, maybe. I like I don't. I just don't know. I'm just so stuck, and I've got four weeks to make this, and I haven't even picked my yarn or anything yet. So help me out. Help a girl out. Come on. <laughs> uh, okay. How about this? Um, you could probably already tell by the look of this, what this is. If you've w been watching Rose, like, uh, no, no, not Rose Likes Crochet. Um, the Canadian Crotcheter. Okay. Debbie, the Canadian Crotcheter. She had done a couple of blankets by Olga. I can't pronounce her last name. <laughs> Anyways, I'll put her link down below for the blanket. Um, post, post, Postolovic. I, I can't remember. Anyway, um, her name is Olga. Or... Anyway, the link is down below. Um, so I just <laughs> I decided to make it into a sweater. <laughs> everything's a sweater in my world <laughs> I just so I did the beginnings of the blanket right I made it to the size because it's done in the square like kind of like a um a granny square and I just made it big enough that it's going to fit around all this right and then I put a back and arms and a, a turtleneck on it okay um, the yarn I used, oh, I forgot to bring it out, is 
the Mainstay Sparkle Acrylic Yarn. Okay, that's the color I used. Uh, and this color is Taupe Splash. Taupe Splash? Yes. Okay, so I used that and I used um, the Walmart base, uh, Premium, Burnett Premium in Mushroom. I think it was called Mushroom. Oh, um, and I'll show you some pictures of me in it and a close up of what it looks like. So you can really see the sparkle in it. Um, I, I can't say I totally enjoyed doing this only because you're constantly switching yarns um, for every round you're switching the yarns and the join I was getting confused because you have to flip the yarn one way when you're going one way and then when you're going back it's like I got a little confused and uh, yeah so I where the cross is on one of these cross sections it's almost like the the connection I had to fudge it a little bit because for some reason I just it wasn't working out for me but um, I did it and it looks good I, I really really like the way it turned out it's totally different I don't know what it is with me lately doing like really out there kind of sweaters but okay I'll go with it uh, I guess my mom's getting creative <laughs> she's going hey let's try this <laughs> I'm like okay <laughs> whatever um, so yeah so I probably won't make another one but um, it was really nice to see the outcome um, I did a ribbed kind of stitch for the arms um, and I did the cuffs in the same uh, cuff the cuffs the bottom the round around the bottom and the cowl part uh, I did that in the mainstay and I was really concerned I thought that maybe with this the strand of tinsel in the mainstay I really thought that maybe it was going to be scratchy you know and it's not because I washed it and this relaxed quite a bit um, so the sleeves actually go down to about here now but um, but it's not scratchy at all you can't feel the tinsel so I was really happy with that because uh, there's some yarns that you can feel it uh, and it's not good for garments but this I would love to have more in different colors uh, but our Walmart doesn't carry mainstay in Canada um, it's only in the States again like <laughs> all the good yarns are in the States <laughs> so anyway um, so yeah like I I can't remember who it was I was watching was showing some different the same yarn in different colors and I was like there's different colors like, oh. I was just like oh wow there's a beautiful blue oh like a tealy blue so, like, oh. <laughs> so anyway um so that's done and the, the back is just plain it's just a it's the same as the sleeves right so yeah so I finished that oh sorry turn turn you back around there we go okay so what I'm working on right now like I said is a cover-up oh oh there goes my glasses excuse me <laughs> uh it's a cover-up and where's my yarn here Oh, oh, whoops, I'm pulling out my stitches. This is my own design. It's pretty basic, easy design. Uh, this way. So, 
so oh, I don't know if you guys can see that. But all I did was um, oh, two rows, oh, two rows, no, one row of double crochet, one row back loop, double crochet, one row, double crochet, one row, um, back loop, double crochet, one row, double crochet. So four rows all together. And then I did four rows of, I wish I could see that better. Four rows of the window, um, what's it called? Window stitch, something like that, where it's, uh, you know, chain up four, um, double crochet in the second stitch, then chain two, double crochet in the second stitch, chain two, and on and on. So I did the back piece. You see how wide it is? Oh, whoops, Mike. Um, it's wide, so, but it's got a lot of drape, like a lot of drapage. It's and it's a three weight, guys. I'm working with a three weight yarn. Yay me! Um, and it's cotton. Who am I? Those are the two things I don't do. I, I don't, like I said, I don't know. Weird things are happening. Um, I don't work with anything less than a four weight. <clears throat> I have three weight here. I even have a two weight or a one weight or whatever. <laughs> Um, and I don't work with them, but, um, this is, oh crap. Uh, I just, I just, um, uh, hello, wind it, ball, ball winding. I just did my cakes up. So <clears throat> this is the denim, the D DMC denim that I just got. And I really wanted to use it. And uh, so it's actually purple. It's coming out a little bit brown, but it's actually purple, like a grape, deep purple. Uh, I actually think it's called grape. Well, it's color 16, but I think it's called grape. Um, <clears throat> and I really, I got a 10 pack. So I thought, well, let's see. Let's see if I can get through. And I, I liked it so much I ordered more. So I'm waiting for that to come. Um, but it's 100% cotton. And I don't work with 100% cotton. I hate the feel of cotton. I just, it, it grinds me. Like it just, it's like nails down a chalkboard for me. And I don't like how it runs through my fingers. And I don't like how it feels on the hook. Uh, but let me tell you, this stuff is like butter. I, I could not believe it. When I started working with this, um, it shocked me. It really shocked me. This is not your grandma's cotton. I'll tell you that. This is a higher end cotton. Um, it's, I, I cannot say enough about this cotton. Um, for someone who absolutely hates cotton and working with cotton to be able to say that, that's a big deal. Um, and I got this from Hirschner's and uh, I am definitely going to be getting more. They sell, they do sell it in a 10 pack. Uh, I don't know if that's a limited time thing or if they are always going to do that or what, but um, I've, I've gone through seven skeins already the skeins i believe are 50 grams yeah 50 grams 75 meters 92 or 82 yards so um <clears throat> so it got me through the back part of of this project now i just have to do the two sides and i'm not sure if i'm putting arms on it or not i've got another 10 pack coming so i technically i could put arms on it Maybe I will. I don't know. I have to figure that out yet. So I, I love this stuff. I want it in all the colors now. 
<laughs> I want all the things. Um, so yeah, so this is like a real surprise for me. And it doesn't feel like a three weight. Like it just, it's such a joy to work with that my hands aren't cramping up. Because um, when I, I got this thing, when I crochet, I'm a pencil holder. So when I crochet, I'm holding on to my project like this. And I have my yarn going through here. Okay. So I'm holding on to my project and my yarn with these two fingers curled. I'm having a hard time with this now. Um, I'm developing some sort of it's not tendonitis and it's not carpal tunnel, I don't think. What I've heard, I'm getting the pain down the side, down to my elbow, but um, I can't turn, I, I'm having a hard time turning my wrist like this. Um, I get a sharp pain right in here and uh, I have no strength in my hand. If I try to lift a coffee cup or a pan or something with this hand, I will drop it. And I've got like pains down in the front, pains down on the side. Uh, but what I, well, it might be, I don't know, it might be one of those. But I also found out that I can get a brace, but the brace is to keep these two fingers straight. And it's called a boxer's brace. And it's apparently it's like having a boxer's fracture, right? So um, they have a brace where th these two fingers are straight out and you can move these, these fingers, but these fingers are straight. Um, so I'm thinking about getting one of those braces, but that's, that's how I hold my, my yarn. I hold my project like I hold my project like this and I curl these two fingers like that and I'm having a tough time. I've tried to change the way I hold my yarn and my and my project and I just can't seem to do it. So I have to take breaks. Um, now and um yeah it's it's not a good feeling at all so yeah so there's that um my sister is coming at the end of march i think it is uh i think it's the last week of march she's got to go for another iv um, rituximab IV and uh, for her Wagner's disease so it's in Nanaimo so I go and pick her up and I bring her out and she spends a day or two here and I take her to her IV <clears throat> so they it's not rituximab anymore it's something else they took her off the rituximab because it wasn't being covered under the medical anymore so now they put her on this new stuff and it's like a world of difference for her, right? With the rituximab, it knocked her down for like a week. Um, her immune system was down. She was lethargic. She was tired. She, was, she had no energy whatsoever. With this new medication that she's on, she says that she's got energy for days. And I went, okay. So she said, well, when I come down there, um, I can, I'll stay overnight and take me for my IV. And then when I come back, I'll have all this energy and we can do all the rearranging and stuff. And I was like, are you crazy? Like you're going to be going like this IV is going to wipe you out. She says, no, it doesn't. She says, I get more energy out of this IV than I, I ever did before. And I was like, okay, well, I just don't want to like have you you know do too much because you think you're feeling good and then all of a sudden you crash right she's like no no it's all good and I was like mm, 
okay. Uh, so she's going to be coming over here and we're redoing this room. <laughs> I'm so happy because man, if you saw this room right now, and I go through this every year, right? When Christmas is done, like or the build up to Christmas, this, I, I get new yarns in and I get projects done and it's just a hell of a mess in here. So, and, oh, and then I'm doing the, um, <clears throat> the gift giving exchange that I do and everything and everything's everywhere. And so I'm just, I, I don't like coming in here. Um, and this should be my happy spot, right? Like this, this should be bringing me, bringing me joy. And, but the way it is right now, like I've got a pile over in that corner of projects that like this, that I've finished and I just put it in a pile over there. I've got yarn down here that, uh, is still in bags. I've got more yarn over here. That's in bags. I got a tote over here of yarn that Jeanette from Hootie Hooten and gave me last year that I still haven't used up yet. Um, but I am working through my stash because I'm looking at holes all over the place. So I'm really happy about that. I'm not buying yarn as much as I used to. So I'm not doing as many yarn hauls. Uh, but I'm, I need to work on this stash. Um, it's not a yarn ban. It's not even a yarn diet. It's just, I'm feeling the urgency to use up this stuff, um, which isn't a bad thing, right? It seems like if I don't put a label on it, like yarn ban or yarn diet, I'm okay with it. Um, I have bought yarn. I will say that I have bought some yarn, you know, um, I just bought the puzzle yarn and then I had the extra order of puzzle yarn, but that's okay because I'm sending some of this to Sandy. <laughs> uh, so yeah. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, yeah. So this is this room I'm hoping to get revamped. I may have to buy another cubicle. I've got, um, these plastic pl plastic I guess they're plastic cubicles uh over here I may have to buy another one because I'm taking the table out that that's on and so now it's going to be dropped down on the floor so I'm going to need to build it up a little bit more which is going to be nice because um it's more room to put the yarn that's down here <laughs> right uh, I'm hoping that she's going to have a different organizational, like she's very organizational. So I'm hoping that she's going to have some ideas for me because I want to change this. Um, I don't like the fact that my mannequin is here blocking the yarn for one thing. Um, I, you know, like, I just, I don't know. I want to figure it out. And there's, uh, there's a, a plastic, um, eight drawer, big plastic thing that's sitting in that corner that doesn't really have much in it that I want to take out of here so I can put another table in here for when I'm doing, um, you know, caking up my stuff and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I got some stuff to do in here. So yeah. Um, what else? What else? I think, I think that's all. I don't know. Maybe not. There's other stuff I wanted to talk to you guys about and I just can't even think now. It's all a muddled mess in my brain. Um, give me a second. Nope. I got nothing. <laughs> I can't think. I do have some furls hooks coming. Uh, I'll show that in another video. So yeah, until my mail comes and whatnot, I can't really show you anything else. Okay, guys. So that's everything, I guess. So thanks for joining me. And, um, I guess I will chat with you guys later. Okay. I love you all.
Bye.